welcome to my channel. Today it's going to be a review and a wear test of this product. Okay, so this is a Gobi. Light 3. Now, I'm going to go to Cardiff today. So I thought I'd put this on and wear it out, see how it goes. I'll do some updates as I'm in Cardiff shopping. Now obviously I'll be doing it on my phone so it'll be less good quality. And then when I get home tonight, if I'm not too intoxicated, I will update on what the lasting time is like. So this is All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation and it is Light 3 Gobi. 30 mil and it cost me 35 pound. I had a um, Mont Blanc a while ago and loved it. So let's go. It went off, um, lost my charge, but I'm back. I'm going to use this wheel as well to conceal some of these red areas. Now, I think it was Sophie and Charm Wench wrote on my Rockerbox video just giving me advice on how to use this, so that was awesome. Um, if anybody watches any of my videos, never feel that you can't offer me advice or critique. That's awesome. We're sharing. Makeup is is always changing. And I'm only into this game, this makeup game, for about a year. Before that, it was kind of like, one shadow, that is it. That was it. Even in my younger years, when I used Urban Decay a lot, it was one shadow, that was it. So now, with all the shading and new shadows and putting on packing on your stuff on your face. It's all new to me. I don't usually do it. So if you've got a wee tip and you think, oh, better tell lightning last about that, then just do it. Because honestly, I take it and amazingly and I love it because <laughs> it always adds to me and makes me better. Because if you look at my makeup videos from the start, there's a big change. <laughs> and then next year, I'm going to be looking back at these going, are you for real? <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, so this is the wheel we got from Rockabox and it's by MUA. And it's pro base. Now, so Sophie and Charm Wench said to put green and it neutralises and reduces redness. So this is the colour, obviously, green. Then Sophie said to put it on, mix it in with your concealer. So that is what I'm going to do. Now, I'm just going to put a little bit on my hand of the green. Right now I'm just going to put a little bit of the concealer on. Okay, so a bit more. And I never put it under my foundation, so that's a first for me. Is that neutralised though? There was a lilac, lift sallow and dull tones, brightens, peach offsets dark circles. So we put these under here, is it? I'm a complete novice at um, corrector wheels, my goodness. And I'm using my fingers because um, I've just sprayed them with my spray that I got out of Pink Parcel and that like neutralises your hands. So it, they should be super duper clean and obviously had a, just had a bath. I think that might be it. Well that's a little bit of my corrector reel. What do you guys think? <laughs> Could I go out like that? Right, now we're going to try the NARS now which is where you came into this video to see because it's in the title. So let's pop it on. Now, this is super runny. Has anybody used this? When I got the sample from Feel Unique, I had a little applicator thing, um, and you untucked, I uh, untucked, <laughs> you pulled it out and then just like done that so you didn't see the consistency, consistency of the foundation. Whereas now, because of this little top, you can see the consistency. Now, watch. Look at that. It will run off. Look. I was shocked, I can't believe it. So it's like total water. But then it's a weightless foundation, so I guess that's why. Mm. 
put too much on. So you don't need a lot because that is still got more. Right. Now I have my stipple brush because I'm going to go for an airbrush look today. And let's go. And this stipple brush is by Rodial. Rodial. Now this is a bit lighter than I should have went for because I am um, tanned just now, so that's a bit light. But it calms down that orange from the tan. Then I will just bronze when I go out. That is how it's going on. It's covered really well. A really good tip, Sophie and Charm Wench. It's just better coverage all around. And where's the redness gone? Whoa. I'm happy with that. So yay to the corrector wheel. And that's the first time I've used it. And very, very carefully. I mean, I didn't really go in for it, did I? So once I'm a little bit less scared of it. Maybe I'll get an even better response or a better, what is it called? Yeah, I'll get a better, I don't know, I don't know what I was trying to say, I'm trying to say something. Right, so that is NARS foundation on. Now that watery foundation that you don't think will do anything turns to that. Now it really does feel weightless. There's no weight to it at all. It's like... I just love it. I mean, obviously this is too pale. Could have done with a lighter colour. A darker colour, sorry. But... <clears throat> usually I'm not tanned. Usually I am pale as a ghost. Right. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to go finish off all my makeup and I'll be back to let you see and then I'll do some wear tests as we go along. This is how it's looking just now. Okay, so that is me ready using the NARS foundation. So um, here it is. I've set it and I've put some setting spray on and um, just added my foundation and my eyes. So that's me. So I will check in throughout the day and let you see how it's wearing. I absolutely love it. I think it's amazing. I just think it's great coverage. It's lightweight. It doesn't make your skin super heavy. I don't know much about foundations, but I've used um, Rimmel. I use Bour Bourjois. Bourjois. Um, I've used Amazonian Clay by Tarte. And this is my fourth kind of one that I've used, which is the NARS. And it's my best by far. Well, I've also used the Primark one, the cheapy one, um, which is a real heavy foundation, and Urban Decay um, All Nighter, which was like a white foundation for when I was really pale, and I used it a lot for Halloween looks. But this one is just lightweight and gorgeous, and I love it. So we'll see how it wears. I will check in throughout the day, and I'll check in when I get home. So I'll see you later. <laughs> Hey guys, so this is me home and I thought I would do a quick update on how my foundation is looking. I've had a bottle of Prosecco <laughs> and a couple of um, cocktails, well one cocktail, half a bottle of Prosecco and then a little bottle. So not too much is it? So, so yeah, it was a fun day out. So this is how my foundation has worn. So I don't know if it looks any different to when I left, it feels fantastic, feels like it's still covering and I feel, oh, my star's a little bit jaded. <laughs> Poor star. 
But yeah, my palette has worked out quite nicely too. It's still there. Still looking good. I think. So, oh, I had my eyebrows done today as well. But that'll be coming up in a video. Well, not that, but what I got. So anyway, that is how my foundation looks. Um, using the NARS. So I have it here. So this is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. And it is in Light 3 Goji. And I think it looks good. I think it's worn really well. Um, there's no patches that I've not liked. So yeah, really, really happy with it. So that's it. Alright, so thanks so much for joining me on this video of um, trying out NARS. But thank you very much for joining me on this video. And I hope to see you on another one. Bye guys. Subscribe to my channel. Hello. Comment below. Press the bell button. Thumbs up. Thank you.